Problem 6 is an extension of problem 5. So I don't really need to recreate all this code here. Um, in fact, if I have already run this cell, I wouldn't have to copy this over. But I'm going to go ahead just to make this be a standalone script and copy the first part and paste it down here. So basically I have the function for um, getting the location and all of my imports set up. Let's go ahead and change the delay back to something shorter, like one second. And uh, what I want to do is create two empty lists, one called latitude and one called longitude. So let's latitude, empty list, longitude, empty list. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, ask the user how many seconds to wait. Okay, so let's say Okay, that's great. Okay, cool. Now, I need to put the, I need to create a loop. Create a loop to check the position 10 times. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then I need to... Hmm, okay, took it a little while to decide. For count in range 10. Okay, latitude and longitude. This is not really what I want, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. And delete this part. Okay, so instead of doing what I did before, I want to append the latitude and longitudes onto my two lists. So let's say... In the ah latitudes and longitudes to the list. Okay, cool. That's what I want. Latitude append lat. Longitude append lon. Okay, that's cool. And the append command does it on the list. It does not um, return anything. So I think that should do it. And it's going to wait the specified amount of time. And for now, I'm actually just going to change the range to 5. And then we'll use a really short delay and see if this works. Now, we let's see, we haven't actually told it to print anything out. So, um, when finished, print the lists. <laughs> well, that's not printing the list. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Here, print latitude. Okay, I don't want to just print the raw list out. That's stupid. Uh, what I want to do is do a loop. And, uh, yeah, okay, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and do what it suggests. I don't actually like this because it's going to be stupid. We don't want to see two separate lists here, but we'll we'll go ahead and do and do this first. All right, so let's try running this. How long to wait between checks? Let's say one second. Okay. Now one thing is there's no indication of showing what's happening. Okay, so. Oh, I guess I could have seen that here. So here it's printed the two lists, but this isn't really that great. What I really would like for it to do would be to loop through the list and show me the latitude and then the longitude with some space in between. So let's just say, um, well, let's go ahead and change this back to 10. 
and say for position in range 10. So that's going to go 0 through 9. Uh, okay, this is still not exactly what I want. Let's do this. Print latitude comma longitude. So this is going to be like a column header, latitude, and then skip a space in longitude. Then what I want to do is to just print each of the latitudes and each of the longitudes. So it'll look more like a table. And yeah, okay, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, that's better. So here's the first latitude and the first longitude, second latitude, second longitude. All right, and I, um, instead of printing off the latitude and longitude each time, let's just have it count. And then print the response at the end. So let's wait one second between each one. Mm. That, uh, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, that's because I deleted the actual assignment. Let's see if I can undo here. Yeah, all I really wanted to do was to get rid of the print statement. Let's try that. Okay, well, it looks like it worked now. I also got rid of my counter. This is better. Okay, the one thing that might be nice is instead of printing the count, what I really could do is print how many seconds it has done so far. So I could take the delay and multiply it by the count. Let's try this. Count times delay. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to tell it to wait two seconds between each time. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hmm. Actually, this gives me an idea. Let's do this. Let's create another list and call it time. 
and let's append the time to the list. Okay, great. And then down here, let's have it print. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Let's, um, okay, let's run it. Do one second delay. Uh, okay. Oh, man. I have overwritten the time library <laughs> with my variable name. Let's call this um, times instead of time. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now the time is printed in the first column. That's nice. And that way, if you did something longer, like have it be 10 minutes between each time, you would have the time for each measurement listed over there. I think that's good enough.